Hi guys, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. So now it is finally sunny outside. No rain, it rained last night, but my ground is um, dry. You see my um, patio is dry and so it's perfect now and the sun is shining. So it's a perfect time for me to clean this patio. So I, we have a lot of pollen as you can see here and I'm gonna clean up that furniture. But my first thing that I wanna do is clean up the patio. And I wanna show you how I do it so you can see the before. Now it is actually not that bad. Over here you can see where there's a lot of moss, I mean well mildew and build up on the patio. And a little bit over here, hopefully you can see that. So I'm gonna clean all of this up and then you will see the afterwards and then I can begin to set up my area for the spring for us to be out here so um, stay tuned I'm gonna show you the products that I use and how I use it and you will see this is the before and then you will see the after so hopefully you didn't get cookies okay so this is the products that you're gonna need this is the reliable cleaning LA totally awesome bleach it is the tall one you get it from the Dollar Tree they also have one that is in a smaller jug you don't want that one. this is in a large jug this is actually a gallon and ever since a couple of years ago the frugal Nista talked about this and how she used it to clean her patio and so I went and got some a couple of years ago and it turned my patio the concrete from dingy to absolutely beautiful it looked really it looked brand spanking new almost like they um, had just poured the concrete so I get a lot of runoff when it rains and on one side it kind of floods I think I kind of messed up the the drainage trying to plant something but on the other side here um, it's, it's fine but I want to show you how I utilize this product and my recommendation is to use it when it is um, sunny outside so it can actually bleach your um, concrete and I'm gonna try to bleach the wall over here also I want to see how that works I've never done that before it really does need to be pressure washed and I do want to see if I can get my father's pressure washer but first I want to see if I can kind of bleach some of that dirt and mildew off of that because eventually I know I've said it before I do want to paint this wall maybe like a terracotta um, type color but let's see what we can do with this first so this is it you need this reliable cleaning LA's totally awesome bleach and you need a broom I'm using this push broom here um, to make it easier but I have um, clean it with the regular broom and I, I have a broom for the inside and a broom for the outside so I use my outside broom so I'm going to go ahead and move some of this stuff over on this table and move those chairs away so that I can really get over there and we will get to work okay so this is what the concrete is looking like now so basically you just scrub your bleach on the concrete 
pour it and scrub it with your broom or whatever type of brush or whatever you're using. Make sure you have on something that you don't care about bleaching. And um, so you can get it. Now this was areas where I shared with you that had the build up. I'm trying to get closer of the the residue of the the um, the mildew, the build up mildew and moss here. You see, it is virtually gone. There's a little bit. See, right here. Not sure if you can see it. Like right here. And I am going to just put a little bit more bleach on here. And the sun is what kills the. The sun kills the, the bleach kills the mildew, and the bleach also bleaches the concrete. And so, just make sure that there's nothing on you know, getting your grass. Now, you're gonna once it um, kind of like marinates for about 20 or 30 minutes. It will be perfect if this was like high noon and the sun would be be beaming down on it. But because it is after five i'm just getting the remainder of sunlight that is um still here that's still out so um but i think it's going to be okay because i see a lot of the spots where i had mildew gone so like let me show you over here all of that is gone and you can see how it kind of foams up and it is going to be beautiful once it um once it dries and i'm going to spray it off hose the patio off with some water and let it dry and you are going to see the final results okay so this for this project i use three and a half gallons of that bleach my patio runs the entire length of my home so but if you had a smaller patio just like a um just a little small patio you wouldn't need that much i would probably say maybe one because i think one of those took care of that palette right there so from that first palette it took care of that and so i use and this one here in the middle is actually a longer palette. So I use three and a half to cover the entire patio and um, I just scrubbed it. And it's a perfect day today because just the sun is out, but it is also windy. And so it doesn't make it so daunting. I've done it before when it was in um, later in the season and I was drenching wet. So this was actually a whole, hot, a whole lot more um, easier and more um, manageable, manageable to do um, right now um, in this time of year. So I'm just going to let this sit for 30 minutes like I said and then I'll come back and we will hose the patio down. Okay, guys, so this is the next day and as you see I have washed all of the chairs here that part you did not see but I washed them and bleached everything down and cleaned them this is the concrete now and it is 100% better than it was so I just washed off and cleaned off all of my cushions there and these chairs and now it is 
time for me to get this all together. Right guys? So I hope you like this video. Just wanted to quickly show you a product that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree and it will totally um, revamp um, your concrete for your patio if you have mildew and grime on it just a little bit of elbow grease and a brush and these are the results you'll get hope you like this video if you do give me a thumbs up don't forget if you're new to Wani's house I would love for you to subscribe and thank you to all of my returning subscribers so guys you know what I always say the next time you're in town you can always stop by Wani's house I'll see you in the next video bye bye